Hey, all well, all fine, kick it with a Meiji. Come and have a good time, kick it with a Meiji. The grandkids and grandma, kick it with a Meiji. We in here, we in line, just to see a Meiji. All well, all fine, kick it with a Meiji. Come and have a good time, kick it with a Meiji. The grandkids and grandma, kick it with a Meiji. We in here, we in line, just to see a Meiji. Hey, 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 peace my kings and queens and welcome to today's video. Today is another grocery haul collab. It is our first for the year 2023. I am the host. This is Amechi. My co-host is Sierra from Just Being Sierra. I will be sure to link our channels down in the description box below. We are collabing with some beautiful women from over on our Women on Watch Instagram group that joined in on this open collab. We will be having these collabs going throughout the year, so feel free to check for our community tabs, our feed on Instagram, highlights and stories, as well as on Facebook. Again, I will be sure to link Sierra's link, my channel link, and the group playlist link down in the description box below. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy what I have to bring for you. Love and respect to you all. If you are new on my channel today, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and tap the post notification bell once you watch today's content and you like what you see. I'll share my channel out with your family and friends as well as on your other social media platform. And leave me a comment while you're here so I can properly welcome you to the Amenti Drive. Guys, I'm back at the house. Um... Just making it up the steps and turn that light off. Just coming in back from the store. Going to show you guys really quickly. Don't mind that stuff there. That's some bags I just hung there because I just unloaded all the groceries here on the table. And it's a vacuum. Just tidying up some things around the house. You guys know. If your mommies and head of household, homemakers, whatever, you get it. <laughs> but I am actually um, back at the house. And I'm going to flip the camera around and let you guys see everything that I picked up. So stay tuned for that. Here we go. A quick overview of everything I picked up. I'm going to show you guys everything we got. Okay. So here we go. Starting right here, I grabbed another box of the Frosted Flakes. I really, really like these. And they're way cheaper than the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes that I pick up when I go to the um, other supermarkets. So whenever I go to all these, I will definitely be picking these up. Frosted Flakes is one of my favorite cereals. I like it with bananas. Um, three loaves of split top wheat bread. We go through a lot of loaves of bread here. Um, I didn't want to buy too many because the dates are coming up within the next week. And i um, just going to make sure that the kiddos are eating this because they're back in school. And so they're only really eating snacks and dinner home. So I didn't want to over do it and I don't have a lot of freezer space so until we eat down some stuff and able to freeze some loaves of bread so I'm gonna have to grab like um three to four loaves so I also grabbed two bags of bagels the kids are loving bagels lately they're just loving it just toasted lightly with cream cheese they're going between the regular uh original cream cheese spread and a strawberry flavor that we've gotten as well um, these are some things I'm going to add to the prepper pantry. So we have a couple boxes of the hamburger helper stroganoff again. Um, told you guys in the past, although I know how to make my own stroganoff, um, I find it cheaper to buy the box ones right now because I'm using less of my ingredients making it homemade. Also grabbed a box of maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal. This also will go down in the prepper pantry. I just pick up a few things here and there to add down there. And believe me, guys, you don't have to go shop in massive grocery shops because things are expensive. So as you see things on sale, grab them and add them in your prepper pantry. I've been saying this all along since the pandemic started, and that's still my practice. That's what I do. Right here, we got some cheese puff. Um, I like these, and so does uh, Taijan. I believe Tizier. Tizier loved them too. Right here, I found some of the kettle um, jalapeno chips. TJ and Kyer love those, so I grabbed the bag. Don't ever think I grabbed the Clancy's brand from Aldi. So when I saw them today, I grabbed just one bag so they can see if they like those. And we also grabbed some 
uh, mint stripe fudge cookies. Taijan absolutely love these. Kair and the other boys will eat them too, but this is Taijan's all-time favorite. Um, got some iced oatmeal cookies. I like them. High fiber diet. But so does the boys. So what I'm going to do with these cookies, and you probably seen me do them in the past, is break them down into snack size bags. And I put them away in a container. And then I bring them out. Um, the kids would normally grab a bag and take with them to school for snack or ask for an evening snack, whatever. I have them portioned out according to the portions that's on the um, reverse side of the packaging. I grabbed some romaine hearts here so I can make myself some salads. I told you guys I've been enjoying just the regular garden or tall salads lately. So grab me some more romaine hearts. Also grabbed some spinach. These are for my um, smoothies that I take daily. Um, I like to beef them up, put the spinach in it, put some cream cheese. Um, if I have strawberries, which I really, really like, put the strawberry in it. Um, whatever milk of choice I'm using, a little vanilla extract, and whatever I'm going to sweeten it with, which is generally honey for me. Oh my God, it tastes like a strawberry cream cheese uh, smoothie. It tastes like a, a strawberry uh, cheesecake, if you will, in a cup. So you guys should try that. Um, got some Mandy's. You guys know I love to pump vitamin C into my boys. They absolutely love Mandy's. They're not a, they're not fond of larger oranges, but I still get them because if I slice them down and put them with their meals um, or as a snack, they will eat them. Heavy whipping cream because I'll be making some um, Alfredo homemade. I got my bananas um, for snacking and also for those frosted flakes I told you guys about. I saw this citrus twist, never tried this, Summit brand from Aldi, caffeine free. Normally anything clear, um, like your Sprite or your Sierra Mist or anything is a hit for me, but I just grab one bottle, see if we like it, and if so, I can grab some more. Um, here's two containers of the cream cheese original. Um, that's for the bagels, of course, and for uh, recipes of different things that I make here, especially like the Alfredo sauce I'll be making. Um, I grab one, one cu cucumbers. I'm sorry, I bust that bag. That was me. I do know for sure. Um, so cucumber for my salads. I grab some blueberries. Everyone know I love blueberries, and I eat them um, on my plates with like bacon and eggs and some blueberries in the morning for breakfast. Um, keto style type diet. Um, mild cheddar shredded cheese for different recipes. Um, can never go wrong with cheese. So Kobe Jack cheese here. Haven't picked that up for the kids in a while. And I thought I'd switch that up with their sandwiches that they're going to have this week. We already have some turkey. So I grabbed some Black Forest ham. I'm sure when they see that, they're going to ask for that immediately. They love sandwiches here in the house. Um, grab some Jumbo Franks. Uh, kids love Franks. You guys know that. I've shared that with you a million times. We have some Moo Tubes. Um, low fat yogurt, they're blueberry and strawberry. Got two boxes, they were the last two boxes. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I took both boxes. Eight is just not enough for my kiddos, so um, all they just have to put out more. I don't feel guilty about that. Normally, you guys know I always tell you I don't like to take all of you know what's on the shelf left, but I needed two boxes and I, I took the two boxes. Um, shrimp, we got some of that for the Alfredo. I'm gonna make. Some um, for the kiddos, I'm going to make the shrimp. Um, and for myself, I'm going to put some chicken in mine. So we never tried these nuggets. I do see them in a lot of people's hauls here on YouTube. Um, so I figured I would give them a go. They look good. Um, the reviews that I hear in other people's grocery hauls is that they're really tasty. So I grabbed one bag just to give the kids a try. You guys know I normally make it to Sam's Club and grab things like this and or Walmart. But while I was in there, I'm like, let me get this a shot. Also, for the first time, I got these Fremont um, Wild Caught Crunchy Fish Fillets. We're going to try that. You guys know my kiddos love fish sticks or fish fillets with cheese, sandwich style, like a fish fillet sandwich, sort of like McDonald's serve. So, going to try that as well. Gallon of milk. You guys know I always grab a gallon whenever I go to the store. We have two in the fridge now. So this will make number three. Don't like to run low on that stuff. The kids like to have caramel flavored milk, chocolate flavored milk, strawberry, you name it. They love it. 
um, milkshakes, need a little milk for that, just drinking milk, cereal, oatmeal, you know, milk, <laughs> besides the recipes and stuff that I need. Grab the larger container of orange juice because, why? All the sneezing and coughing and all that stuff that goes on this time of year, so I made sure I doubled up with the orange juice and the mandies. And lastly, I got two of the Mama Cozy's Rising Crust Frozen Pizzas. And these are four cheese pizzas. So, this, guys, again, is my small haul that I picked up at Aldi's. Everything that you see here came to $90.59. So, not bad. Um, don't really want to show you guys much in the house because... Just actually last night, Kyra and myself took down the tree. Um, I normally take mines down right after old Christmas, which is um, January 12th. But we were considering keeping that tree up year round. And then I just got sick of it taking up the space. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Let's move that tree. So the tree was here. And as you can see, it's a few marks on my wall. I'm around here painting. So you guys will see that. I'm about to paint and hit those spots. <sighs> Don't ask me how the kids did that with the tree, but they did. And grandma's going to take care of that right as soon as I put this grocery all the way and get myself situated. So I will show you an upload where you'll see me doing some touch up here. Um, oh my God, I still got that little Christmas carpet down there. I got to take that up. I'm just looking around for anything that I might have overlooked as far as putting the things away for Christmas. But overall, overall, I would like to take this time to thank you all for tuning in to today's video. You guys, I really appreciate all the support. Um, again, I will be uploading between my two channels, Mrs. Amechi or the Amechi Tribe and Grandma Does It All. Be on the lookout. A lot of live streams coming girl talk, things of that nature. Um, a lot of uploads, just family content and some cleaning and organization. I look forward to recording and bringing some more content to you. Thank you all for supporting us. Love and respect to you all. God bless. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji, yeah. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji, yeah. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah. You